Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how I adjust volume automation in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to adjust the volume of the vocal track. Typically, what you'd do is we'd switch the track to write mode or touch mode. Just right click over here. Let's choose touch mode. Open up a fader on the mixer. And we can ride this along with the song, like this. Getting the perfect level for each phrase on the track. But then we want to go back and fine tune each line, phrase by phrase, to make it perfect. And we could do that by drawing in the envelope lane, hold on control on the PC or command on the Mac, and just draw up or down to readjust each phrase. But I tend to find that not very precise. What I prefer to do is use custom actions to adjust the volume of each phrase one at a time, like this. Let's go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and then we're going to create a custom action right here. Under our filter, we'll type in four points, and that shows the action Insert four envelope points at time selection. So this will create four points at the time selection before we make any changes. Drag this over, and then we're going to type in points up. There's an action over here that's going to move those points up a little bit. We'll drag this over, and now if we create a time selection, it's going to create four points, then it's going to move it up a little bit. In this case, it's 1 dB. That's what a little bit means. Let's name it volume up 1 dB, and then we'll save it. And here's that action we just created. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. And just use any key you're not using. I prefer to use the up and down arrows. Although Reaper already uses that by default, but I'm going to overwrite it because I use this action more than the other. Hit OK. Now we need to create one for volume down. We want to bring down the volume of a phrase the same way. So let's just duplicate this one right here, copy, and then edit this one. We could delete, move selected points up a little bit. In the filter, type points down and choose the same thing going the other way. Move selected points down a little bit. That's going to do the same thing, but move the points down. Change the name to be volume down 1 dB and give this a keyboard shortcut. I'll use the down arrow. And now, as we're working with this vocal, and hearing it back, if we hear a phrase we want to change, let's say this phrase is too loud, just create a time selection, hit the down arrow, or whatever keyboard shortcut you set up, and it moves it down 1 dB. Hit it again, it does another, and another, so it goes in 1 dB increments. And if we hear a phrase that's too low, we can bring that one up with the up arrow in 1 dB increments. Listen back. If it's too loud, bring it down and keep listening till each phrase is perfect within the mix. Now, if you find that 1 dB is a bit too much to work with, there's another option. Let's go back to our actions. And here are the actions we just created. Let's choose this one and edit it. Let's remove this action, type down points, and instead of choosing the option, move selected points down a little bit, we could choose down a tiny bit. And instead of 1 dB, it's going to be 0.2 dB. Now for me, that's a bit too small, so what we can do is we could stack them. This is going to be 0.2 dB down. If we had another, it'll be 0.4. And another with 0.6, which seems to work for me. That's the smallest amount I can hear. So I'll change this to be volume down 
0.6 dB. Let's do the same thing with volume up. Just remove, select the points up a little bit, and replace it with move selected points up a tiny bit. And again, I'll choose three, and we'll change this to volume up 0.6 dB. And now it's going to work the same way. If you look right here, the volume is 0 dB. Create a selection, up arrow. Now it's up 0.6 or down 0.6. So you can go through our vocal phrase by phrase, readjusting it in those increments. If it sounds too low, just bring it up by 0.6 dB at a time. until it sounds perfect in your mix. So that's pretty much it. That's how I adjust volume automation in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.